WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a drenched Delray Beach, Florida, although the rain has stopped for a little bit out there. And this is your 11 a.m. update. So right now we've got the Dow trading down 255, S&P's off 10, NASDAQ 100 up 62, semis are up 42, Russell's off 22, Tranny's down 240. We got a mix back out there. You got gold trading down 26 bucks, silver's off a dollar, uh, lights recruit is up 12 pennies, natural gas off 10 cents, 30 year treasury up four ticks, printed out at 119.09. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel <clears throat> market update chart. ES Mini upper left hand side. What we see here is an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Price is trading above all resistance. No new profiles. 56.10 is its target. You do have a spot volatility that still is below its 50 day exponents moving average. 50 days at 13.49. As long as that condition remains, that would be a, a given edge to the bulls for the SP 500. The NQ trade above all resistance. Its price target on its A to B equals CD pattern. 2151. U.S. dollar index is rallying, but it's trading with inside a descending price channel. Uh, likely price will go maybe target the top of that price channel. We have to take a look at what's going on with the euro and the yen. That's at about the 105 uh, level, even Stephen. We take a look at Goldilocks. It did form that new profile. Now, I've got two different versions of it, meaning I've got two different bottoms. We'll use this one right now. Buying areas between 2314 and 2334. Resistance is consistent on both sets of Stevie's charts, and that's up at 2386.20. Silver is testing the top of its daily profile. It got down almost to the bottom of that daily profile. It's fairly narrow in range. <coughs> <coughs> it's between 2864 and 2909. If you take a look at Lightspeed Crude, we identified those descending trend lines because we had nice rally with price trading above the top of its profile. That descending trend line has proven to be resistance. But if you get above that, we're headed higher. Natural gas actually formed a road momentum indicator top yesterday. So I need to put that signal in here. We'll take a look at natural gas during the uh, Trader Z show. But it would look like a price target. And I don't know where the oscillator and change line is just at the moment. But it looks like the price target would be down at about the 269 level out there. And finally, we take a look at a 30-year treasury. It did make its way back pretty close to the a swing point from June 7th. That's up at the uh, 119.31 level. If we did get a close above that, we'd have another A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show if you would, but if you're off to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.